So I said I was going to vlog today, and today was the Struck by Lightning premiere in Los Angeles. So I did, and there will be a lot of vlog footage, as you guys can see. I took some on my phone. So let's cut to that. So it's Saturday, and I'm here with the lovely Amanda. And we are going to Kohl's, because this hot shit over here got us tickets to the screening of Struck by Lightning at the premiere tomorrow. So... I'm gonna go find a dress to wear because we be looking good and having a good time. So then we we went to Kohl's, we found great stuff. I got this beautiful dress, so thank you, Dad, for helping me get a fantastic dress. Um, it said Jennifer Lopez Kohl's dress, and I was like, you know what, I'm really excited. I'm gonna bust out the fake lashes, I'm gonna have a great time. So Sunday comes and I wake up and here's some more footage. So it's about 11 o'clock um, and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm gonna style my outfit for today so I have my dress which I'm gonna do so I won't be able to see it but it's this really pretty dress that I got from Kohl's so it's tweed and black and it has a mesh insert on the back where the zipper is and my dad got it for me. He's like, you need to go find a dress, so go to Kohl's because it was between that one and this really pretty one that's also from Kohl's. It's, uh, excuse me, this one. It's also from Kohl's and it's uh, Vera Wang Princess, but I'm going to save that, I think, for uh, my friend's album release concert, which should be happening within, it looks like, six to eight weeks, hopefully. So now I'm in the daunting process of picking out shoes and jewelry for the dress and I still have to paint my nails because they are atrocious because I tried painting them like four times last night and the nail polish kept on coming off and it just didn't look good so I think we're just gonna have to paint them like black which isn't that big video but it's just like damn I really wanted to do like designs on it so I might try and clean them up a little more and put white on them and draw with sharpies because at least I know how to draw with sharpies on my nails versus trying to do it with nail polish which is a massive pain in the ass. So I will show you guys when I start putting together the outfit. Bye. So we're on our way down Wilshire Boulevard. And I'm wearing lipstick, which is really rare for me. So don't normally wear lipstick. I'm also definitely the man today. <laughs> in my in my in my sweater. But I am wearing a short skirt. Right. Ow, ow. I'm out. So we are waiting in line outside Province Chinese Theater. Um, there's a line of people who have tickets. We don't know like the whole entire deal, but pretty much anybody who has tickets who's like general public or press or things like that is in this line. So I will show you. It's all the way around. Like all the way around that way. So then there is Amanda and me. And we're really excited. We we're inside for like a hot second and they have the whole entire press line sign like the signage up and it says struck by lightning and Tribeca film so it's really cool I'm really excited for my friends who get to walk the red carpet like Dom and Jen who won the contest with Michael Van London so hopefully I'll be able to see them inside and say hi and yeah so we get to the Chinese theater and we park our car and then we go upstairs we wait in line I see a lot of my friends from Hugs for Chris which is fantastic and some of my friends from various events and star kid things that I've seen across the country so it was great seeing everybody so we're waiting in line and I meet up with my friends Christy and Dora we got Dora a ticket because she didn't have one and then we thought we were gonna be able to find her one and then we found her another one so it was all fantastic so it was really really great and then all of a sudden like people start coming like we see Ricky's mom came and I love Bev she's like a mom to me so I got to see her and then uh, I also saw Michael who's staring Chris's publicist who's fantastic and really awesome and then I also saw Olive who's Chris's publicist she's fantastic and I think she remembered me and I'll get back to that later so then um, all of a sudden like celebs start coming like I see Dominic Barnes and Lauren Chavez from the Warblers and from Glee and I've become like you know them really well and they're great friends and also we got to meet Zach Woodley which was really awesome so here's a picture of some of us with Zach And so we're all of a sudden like we're going in and like I go to powder my nose and literally 20 seconds later Chris starts walking out of the elevator right in front of us. 
as seen in this clip, so I only got a second of it. Yeah, just my luck kind of a thing. So, but then we're waiting in line and we start moving and start moving. We saw Rebel Wilson and we saw Roberto Aguirre and Brian Danley who directed the film. And it was really great being able to see like all these people because I've watched the film like 10 times now. Like see all the people who made this amazing film walk into their premiere, which is really great. And it's kind of a cool experience. So all of a sudden we're waiting in line and I see Darren rolls in and he looks great and I yell his name and he didn't see me. And then Mia rolls in and I yell at Mia and Mia sees me and I blow her a kiss because I love her to death and she's fantastic. And so I'm standing there with Dora and Christy and Amanda and a couple of other people that we got to meet. Um, and all of a sudden I get an Instagram alert for one of the photos I had taken earlier. I was going to be making Little Struck by Lightning earrings. And all of a sudden it gets a, I get an alert on the photo of the process I was making for the earrings, but I didn't have time to. And it said, did you make Chris the pin he's wearing? And I'm like, what? So what do I do? I go check the Instagram tag for SBL and the first photo that pops up is Chris Colfer on the red carpet wearing the pin I made him at the Carson Phillips journal signing for Struck by Lightning a couple of months ago at the Grove. This is the second pin set I've made him. I made him one for the Land of Stories, which actually had some that I did, as well as some of the artwork by my friend Emmy, who I'll put a link to her Redbubble store in the link in the description box below. And then for the Struck by Lightning one, it was just like a little typewriter that said join the Writers Club and a little composition book. And then um, the little cover of the Carson Phillips journal. And then I made him this pencil bolt, which is a lightning bolt that actually looks like a pencil. Because I thought it was clever and you kind of are struck by lightning and then struck by his words in this movie and then book. And because Chris is incredibly talented. I, there I am standing on our way to get into the theater, dying a little on the inside, started shaking and crying. My friends around me are like holding me. And I took a little bit of video footage of my reaction initially. So let me put that clip right here. All of us are standing outside. <laughs> oh, no, <I'm> <laughs> no, no, it's video. Um, all of us are standing outside, and I literally just got an Instagram alert saying, "Did you make Chris the pin he's wearing? Because he's wearing one exactly like it." And I'm like, "No, probably not." So of course, this bitch right here goes to check Instagram, and Chris Colfer is wearing the pin I made him from the Struck by Lightning premiere, uh, from the book signing, to the premiere of his movie. I cried, I called my parents, and I am now flipping the shit inside. Witnesses. 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 We're real. Witnesses. We're real. So now we're waiting outside. We talked to Brian Danley. Um, we talked with Ala and Michael and Ricky, and who else do we talk with? Um, I saw Sarah. Roberto. And Zach. And Zach. We, we saw Rebel. We saw Rebel, and she looks flawless. Mm -hmm. um, Sarah Hyland looks beautiful. So this is. Ah. Oh my gosh. So, and now my phone is blowing up because everybody's tweeting me like, I saw it. I thought that was your pin from Chris. So, yeah. We'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. So, we're going inside and I'm still like really shaking, like flipping my shit essentially. And so, we go inside and it was fantastic. We go, uh, we are walking to our seats and I run past Darren and he saw me. And he's like, I thought I'd see you at these events, which is kind of a funny thing because I end up seeing him at like every major Glee person event now, which is kind of funny. I talked with Mia and Mia told me she had seen my YouTube tutorial about the Mia Von Glitz makeup with my friend Michelle's music and she'd heard about it. So that made me feel really special. So we walk up to our seats and like we see that there's like a shit ton of people there from not just the cast, but like from Glee and like Chris's life, which is really important and really awesome because I know how hard Chris worked for this movie and it's just... It's fantastic. And so we watched the movie and Amanda had never seen it so it was really fun to be able to watch it with her and I on the inside am dying over a lot of the funny jokes that I had heard the first time I had seen it and from the Twitter party that Brian Danley had did where he was talking about behind the scenes stuff as well as Michael Van London who I ran into as well and I'm very excited that I got to see him and I got to meet Jen who won the SBL music video contest, which was awesome. So she got to be Michael's date to the movie and the premiere and the after party and everything. And I'm so excited for her. And she'll probably have a lot of photos and vlogs and everything like that. I'm really just excited for her. So we're sitting in the movie and the movie ends and then we're like the last people to leave. And I run into Ricky and Beth again and I say bye. And then I see Max Adler, who plays Frosty, who everybody knows. And I've seen Max at like 
shit ton of events now. Max is one of my favorite people. He's just very funny, very down to earth. He's like, hey, great seeing you. Gives me a big hug. And he's like, am I going to see you at the after party? I'm like, not this time, son. I ain't swaggy enough. I ain't got enough swag. So, um, I ain't, oh no, I think the correct, I think I used, like, I ain't suave enough for that shit yet. So we all laughed and it was just kind of funny because like it's kind of a running joke that I'm always at the events and things like that and then everyone's like, are you going to the after party? I'm like, nah, I wasn't invited. They're like, damn, I thought you would be. But that's probably going to get edited out because I don't want to seem like an asshole. But like I just go to all these events and like I end up making genuine friendships and connections and like awesome conversations with amazing, amazing people and I'm truly blessed about that. So Max leaves and all of a sudden I see Dot Marie Jones who plays Coach Beast and I've been talking to Dot online for like two years now for like so long and um I made her this t-shirt design a while ago and I was like I'm so sorry I didn't get a chance to get you one she's like you can still get me one don't worry and so I talked with her and she told me she was proud of me of getting a new job and like being out here and she was very excited for me so and like everybody who I talked to and I was like yeah I'm finally employed they're like yay and so that was really exciting to be able to share that with people who like have seen me from being employed to unemployed to being unemployed for four and a half months and being really depressed about it to like finally getting in the career path that I wanted to be on, on for the longest time and the reason that I moved out here so that was really awesome so we're literally like talking with Dot Marie Jones it's me Amanda Dot her girlfriend and her girlfriend's daughter who's her daughter as well and so sweet like adorable people we love them we're walking down we're talking we're talking about Maryland and we're talking about like making it in the industry and it was just awesome and then she goes uh we're all outside and like just hang like saying goodbye and I get to talk to Chris's mom Karen who's an absolute sweetheart and I told her I said you should be extremely proud the movie was fantastic and she's like thank you so much and then right in front of me is Ashley Fink who I have been dying to meet for the longest time because Ashley Fink is fan freaking tastic and also because Lauren Zeises is a real person who like my family knows and it's just crazy Beaver Country Day connection stories and shenanigans. So I'm talking with her and I'm like, hi, I'm Nicole. I'm a huge fan. I've seen you in like a bunch of events, but I've never been able to say hi. She's like, oh, it's so nice to meet you. I said, I'm actually the one who made Chris his pin. And here's where I start to like choke up a little because I'm just dying over this. She's like, yeah, we were talking about this earlier. She's like, Chris was like, I think I'm going to wear the pin. I got to get my pin. So he puts it on and she's like, yeah, I bet the fan who made that for you is going to flip their shit. So I'm like, yeah, I did. And Amanda sent me back. She's like, yeah, I can confirm she kind of lost her shit. So, and I was like, it's such, it's like so great seeing you. It was such a great movie. It was such a good fun. I'm so excited to see you back on Gleesh. Like, I'm no, no, I'm so excited. So it was awesome being able to see her. Um, and then I talked with Brian Danley again and we talked about Saved and we talked about the Struck by Lightning drink that I'm making for him. Like it's a really cool cocktail that I'm doing and all this fun stuff. And it was just an overall absolutely incredible experience. And I wanted to kind of video blog my thoughts about the entire day. And I thought that, yeah, doing the video blogs during the day would be great. And I'd have this fun little video. I never thought that A, Chris Culper would wear the pin that I made him on a whim to the red carpet premiere of his first movie and like every major news outlet was there and every major entertainment outlet was there and people were tweeting about it and I got so many comments and Facebook messages and Instagram comments and Twitter messages like my phone was literally about to die and before the movie even started because everybody kept on tweeting me and Facebooking me and Instagramming me and so I'm glad I had my little external external battery and I plugged it in uh, before the movie started and turned off my phone and let it charge and even when I turned back on my phone I had like 30 messages and it was insane so pretty much in a nutshell that is what my day is that is how I had the greatest night of my life thanks to Chris Colfer and that is how I know that 2013 will be my year so thank you Chris Colfer thank you Glee fandom thank you Struckers thank you everybody who watches my video tweets me Thank you to my incredible roommate who got me the tickets and I couldn't have done this without her. So Amanda is the best date you can ever have to a movie premiere because she's funny and snarky and keeps you grounded and holds you when you're shaking and crying because one of your idols is wearing your pin. So thank you internet for indulging me and in sharing my experience of the Struck by Lightning, My Heart has been Struck by Chris Colfer experience. Thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe.